Now, we'll discuss about the Waga Thorax Part 5. In Part 4, we have seen this is posterior intercostal artery which arises from the thoracic aorta and these are the branches of this posterior intercostal artery. Here is internal thoracic artery which gives anterior intercostal artery. There are two anterior intercostal artery present in the each space. In this diagram, you can see this is first rib, this is this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth rib. This is scalenous anterior muscle. This is scalenous anterior muscle. This muscle divides, here you can see, this is subclavian artery, this is subclavian artery, this subclavian artery is divided into three parts, first, second and third part by scalenous anterior muscle. The first part gives branch, which descends downward, deep to first, Costal cartilage, then second, then you could third. This is here. You can see this is first intercostal space, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth intercostal space. This internal thoracic artery in sixth intercostal space divides into two branches. This is musculophrenic artery and this is superior epigastric artery. This is superior epigastric artery. And this is musculophrenic artery. This artery is Anterior intercostal artery arises from internal thoracic artery. From first to sixth space, it arises from internal thoracic artery. So each space has two artery. Up to here. In seventh, eighth, and ninth intercostal space, this Anterior intercostal artery arises from musculophrenic artery. So from here to here, from seventh to ninth space, seventh to ninth intercostal space, anterior intercostal artery arises from musculophrenic artery, and from first to sixth intercostal space. It arises from the internal thoracic artery. Internal thoracic artery gives other branches also. Here it gives numerous mediastinal branches. From second to second, third, and fourth space, it gives perforating branch which gives supply to the breast. Here it gives a branch that is. Pericardiophrenic artery. This is pericardiophrenic artery. So these are numerous branches of the internal thoracic artery. And here you have seen this anterior intercostal artery arises from internal thoracic artery in upper six spaces. And then from seventh to ninth space it arises from musculophrenic artery and Below, that means in 10th and 11th space, there is no anterior intercostal artery. But posterior intercostal artery in 9th and 10th 
intercostal space are present. These are the branches of the descending thoracic aorta. So this is all about the wall of thorax part 5. Thank you.